What's going on guys? Welcome back to Young, Dumb, and Smoke. I apologize for the background noise. This is a very impromptu video. So I didn't actually have time to set up my whole camera situation complete with the microphone. But what I can do for you guys is talk about my experience with this pipe. This is a Missouri Meerschaum Mark Twain corncob pipe and the blend that I am smoking in it. This is the second time I've smoked it. I didn't want to do my first ever uh, smoking uh, <laughs> for the first time in a video just because I didn't want to embarrass myself in front of the uh, YTPC. But here we are with the second bowl. I started smoking this. I was I went on a walk with my wife uh, and uh, it went out because it's 7-Eleven today and we went over to the uh, local 7-Eleven, which is just right down the road from us, uh, within walking distance, and I uh, picked up a Slurpee. So, that's what I'm smoking today, and I kind of wanted to give you guys my honest opinion. Now, I know that there are a lot of people out there who get their inspiration for smoking either from a, a family member, someone they know uh, personally, or through a media, or through literature, uh, whether that's the writings of C.S. Lewis or Tolkien, or whether it's somebody famous like Mr. Mark Twain. Now, in 2023, it's a lot more popular, currently, uh, as far as I know, to be a cigar smoker than a pipe smoker. Cigars are seen to be more sexy, more mysterious, and pipes are for the intellectual smoker, the thinker. I, I believe it was Peterson Pipes had a, the old slogan, the thinking man's pipe. So, some things that I really, really love about the pipe versus cigars. I started off with smoking cigars and I've now picked up a pipe. I've been inspired by some personal friends, family, and of course, as I've uh, the aforementioned Tolkien and C.S. Lewis. And I like the fact that one thing I've noticed is with this particular pipe at least, the smoke that I'm breathing into my mouth, what I'm bringing in is a very cool smoke. I've seen videos where you're told not to puff on your pipe. You're supposed to almost sip it, like you're sipping a coffee through a coffee stirrer. So, with that, armed with that information, I have embarked on my own pipe smoking journey in a very similar fashion. But, I think that I may be hooked on this more than I was ever hooked on a cigar. Now, this is not a political statement that I'm making, but I do believe that people that smoke a pipe or cigar are conservatives. Let me explain what I mean by that. I mean there is something inside of that type of person that wants to conserve or conservate the old ways of living. They have an appreciation for the slower time periods in the world for the simpler times. And a pipe more than a cigar holds on to that even more tightly. 
because there's something about this. I think it's the fact that this is not disposable. I think a lot of people tend to um, think about corn cob pipes specifically as a more of a disposable type of way to smoke, but I think the opposite is true. I think that given the right quality, like this Meerschaum, or the way you take care of it, these can last, these can outlast you. Now, I live here in Virginia, a state that was known in the past for its tobacco. And there's something to be said for living in Virginia and smoking a corn cob pipe and reflecting on the men who died for this country in two separate wars. And I'm going to say something that's very controversial for somebody of my uh, skin tone, but I have respect for men who fought on both sides of the Civil War and both sides of the Revolutionary War. Because in each one of those cases, the land that I am standing on, this Virginian soil that I find myself pondering with this pipe. This is ground that men died to protect, to keep, to preserve. It does not matter what the reasoning behind their protection or their conservation of what they held dear to them. But I think that in a world that is seeming to turn upside down, conserving or having an understanding of what you're conserving is important. To eliminate the political leanings on both sides and to remember why there were men willing to die to protect this certain, certain dirt. I want to leave you with this. Pardon me while I relight this. The ground that is every piece of dust and every speck and crumb and chunk and boulder and mountain that is the United States of America is hallowed ground. It has been baptized in the blood of many, many Americans across many, many wars, through many, many tragedies. That is the struggle of human existence. Let us not give that up so quickly. I'm Justin, and this is Young, Dumb, and Smoke. And I'll catch you in the next video.